Welcome back to the Jeremiah Show. Having a great time with my friends, girl named Tom. It's uh, Joshua, Caleb, and Becca. Their new single, we're going to play it at the end, in its entirety, mm -hmm. is Get a Little Lost. And go to girlnametom.com. They've got a new tour they're announcing. I think it uh, announces today. It might not be up if you uh, hear this today, but you will. Uh, it will be up, by, I think, probably by the end of the week or so. We're going to talk about it a little bit at the end. We'll give you out a couple dates. I'm, uh, I got to say, guys, I'm a little disappointed. I don't see Santa Barbara on the calendar. I don't <laughs> see Los Angeles, San Ynez. I would drive up to San Francisco. I'm going to have to drive to Oregon to see you, but I'll do it. <laughs> I'm not going to complain. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. You yeah. say you like a road trip. <laughs> I do like a road trip. Hey, you know the last road? <laughs> we'll say that. I'm sorry. I cut you off. It's good. It's a good road tripping song. Get a little lost. You can, you can go all the way up there listening. <laughs> last road trip I took, I drove up to the gorge for Dave Matthews weekend. You know what? He does that three days up there over Labor Day. Uh, and it was one of the most, I got a little lost and I loved it. I'd love driving through Oregon and I uh, had some bizarre stories myself, but it was a lot of fun. And then camped out and uh, over the river and three days of music. So cool. oh, yeah, it was cool. So I could do that, Joshua. Yeah. Joshua, tell me about a time in the past year when you got a little lost. All right. Well, yeah. So Caleb was talking about grandpa and our grandpa would tell us to try something new every day. <laughs> try something new every day he was a man of many mantras and uh that's one that really stuck with with me and we've been doing a lot of new um th since since the voice uh whether that's i mean one huge thing was co-writing for the first time outside of the three of us mm -hmm. going into a, a writer's room sharing our most vulnerable selves with with strangers on day one and then trying to write a song on this in the same day it was, uh, yeah. It feels a, lost. Yeah, yeah. That feels oh. lost sometimes. Um, oh, I like that. That's a good story. Yeah. And then like opening for pentatonics in arenas, we were like, you know, these fresh young kids, yeah, new to the music scene and like, yeah. And just- What's that like walking out and then you just <laughs> people everywhere of lights and shouting and cheering is that a crazy crazy experience crazy. yeah yeah i i don't know what to compare it to what is it, it addicting do you need more of it um i wouldn't turn it down never mind <laughs> I, <laughs> I would do it again yeah it was it was so fun but yeah so like what kind of the theme of what we've been saying here this whole time is like trying new things is scary but it's the it's the real way to get to your core self. You, you find out so much about who you are when you put yourself through these scary things. Um, um, so, yeah. And sometimes you have to do it again and again. Like the first right. time we went into the arena, felt completely lost oh. yes. on all the levels. Just head spinning, yeah. world spinning, just heart, mm -hmm. I don't know, spinning in the chest, if that's a thing. But um, Pop it out, I bet. Yeah. yeah, but then by by night twenty two on our sec twenty second arena, like it, we walked out there and just like looking at looking at Josh and Becca, just being like, "Yo, they belong. Look at those two. Yeah, I'm oh, still, but those oh, two. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was like it was like okay, this is our home. Like we found out where we belong. Like that we belong here now. Yeah, and so like able to adjust. Yeah, we're, we're yeah. the humans are capable of so much, yeah. and and you know pushing ourselves outside of our boundaries. We'll realize that. It's not really outside. Oh, that was another point I wanted to kind of make about growing up is like outside wasn't really outside. Mm -hmm. It was part of it all, mm -hmm. right? Like mm -hmm. To go outside, kids, wasn't really a thing. It was just, yeah, it's, it's out of there. the door. It's out the door, I guess. Accessible. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, mm -hmm. that's random. And I want to, I want to talk no, to that's, you. No, that's totally true, right? I mean, there's not, I don't think that happens a lot right now where kids are outside like they yeah. were before. Maybe I'm just observing that but I feel like that comes up a lot that people don't have kids didn't get raised that way where they were like your parents shoved you out the back door and shut it and said see you see you when the sun goes down right yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. and I want to I want to say too, talk a little bit about like it's non-musical but like 
moving to Nashville was very new. Like it's such small town kids moving to a big city and like starting from scratch with community. Mm -hmm. Um, and I just had a birthday last week and it was so fun to, for me to like take a step back and, and realize like all the rela new relationships that I've formed. I had, I like had a picnic at the park kind of thing and just had so many. For like good... 50 people. He has like so many friends. <laughs> <laughs> so fun. Popular guy. Yeah. I can um, see that. <laughs> yeah. That's and cool. That's cool. Joshua. Happy birthday. Belated. <laughs> um, I like that, that you guys are settling in there in Nashville and making friends and uh, feeling, feeling at home. It will make going home so much better. Won't it? So much sweeter when you get off the road, you're road yeah. weary uh, back to Caleb. You were you know talking about the, the 22nd time that you <laughs> were at an arena show. Uh, how cool that you can say that. <laughs> I don't know how many people can yeah. say that, but, and then looking down the, down the way at your on stage at your brother and your sister and i can imagine that i can picture that and uh you guys are performers you know you make people feel good that are watching you isn't that a do you think stop and think about that because you've all probably admired i know joni mitchell and crosby stills and nash james taylor all these greats um willie nelson and all these greats that you've admired uh and now you're you're that for other people Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't that that doesn't make sense mm -hmm. at all. No, it does. That's that, it's natural for you. It comes natural. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I I think there, there's few that can do that. You do that. Yeah, and it's something that we're growing into. Mm -hmm. I think. Um, I've always realized that I've had that from um instrument standpoint. Whenever I'm holding an instrument, I can make people happy draw mm -hmm. and people draw people in in a special way um and these two especially with the voices like mm -hmm. that's always been something that when they open their mouths and start singing it's just like whoa we're gonna <laughs> now <laughs> we're gonna yeah. that's amazing angel music um yeah so you're right it's 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 definitely um a responsibility and a joy to be that joy for other people and to, yeah. to bring that on a nightly basis keep it a joy keep it a joy i think you guys stay in there for always if it's, if it's joyful for you yeah. uh it's gonna be joyful for us i know it's a it's a hard 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 work very hard work yeah. um but you you, you uh, you're um uh, it's a lot to carry on your shoulders i know and especially as young as you are but the, the it's appreciated okay you guys are for sure performers becca what muscles like music muscles have you developed over the last years? Is there anything that stands out to you? Anything that you go, I've worked, I've, I've, I've become better at that. Something that you wanted to improve on. Mm. Um, wow. I think, I think I've grown in the studio aspect. We, we took a week, five days in a row in February, went to a studio down the road in, it was like five minutes away and worked with, two producers that were amazing and took our own songs. And I think I, in my head, I was processing like, okay, this is sounding, I, it's hard for me. I'm a little slower at the process of like, this sounds this way and this is the way I would like it to sound. So I think I've, I've been working on those muscles and then vocalizing what I have decided or <laughs> my opinions is, are like a slow forming um I, I, it's it's slow right mm -hmm. now so i'm working on that whereas fashion i'll tell you if i don't like that in <laughs> point 0.2 seconds <laughs> and, so i'm like why is that like what's what's the disconnect there and i i love that experimentation the exploration of how to get our i mean we're just discovering how to capture our essence through the airwaves mm -hmm. And it's a great process. So I feel myself honing those muscles of, mm -hmm. of critique. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I would say freeing yourself yeah. too on the outside. Oh, yeah. Like, mm -hmm. like I could, I could sense tension in yourself mm -hmm. previously, but like in the last year, you, the freedom 
in front of a microphone in a studio yeah. that I see you possess is night and day. Yeah. Yeah. Like you're willing to just try things. Yeah. And that's it's like so important. Uh, yeah, I, I feel that too. Where I'm not, I'm not as calculated mm -hmm. before I sing. I can kind of just like sing and then, and then make a decision later on if I would like that to stay in the track or like get that out of here, yeah. but just let it happen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's something that you do. I mentioned, I wish I had, uh, I was more uh, proficient at the soundboard here. I could play it to show you what I meant, but, and that when you're going into your first chorus, I think it is and get a little lost and you do something with your voice where. You guys know what I'm talking about? I don't even know if you you know you do this, but it goes, it it takes, I don't know how to describe it. It it almost like unfolds a little bit and goes and layers it. I don't it's it's magical. I'm I, it's real talent. And then when I mentioned when you guys come in at the end there and you start harmonizing to get the three you come in, I'm like wow, like it's just powerful. It's like that wave I, I you know I've mentioned. Yeah. The 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 thing with Becca's voice is there are thousands of micro decisions she's making. yes that's what it is it's a for sure decision yeah go ahead just tiny micro decisions she's making in real time or maybe they're you know predetermined but um you you don't it's like what you're saying you're finding it difficult to explain why that line hits you the way it does um my favorite example of it with becca's voice is during helplessly hoping she never sings a line of melody that whole song mm. doesn't sing a whole line of, sing a line of melody but it's her voice that takes that song over the top because of tiny little intricate movements or pronunciations, mm -hmm. mouth shapes, um, note su subtle like attack choices on notes. It's crazy. And it like gives the whole thing a flow mm -hmm. that is like, it's impossible to explain, but she's, she does it. You just got to listen. Yeah. yeah. You, you just, just got to listen. listen. Like, All right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's, Hey, I'll take that that job any day yeah. listen to becca sing uh, <laughs> that's so sweet. exactly yeah. that's what it is uh, say it again i think zoom cut us out a little bit on that one what uh, did you say how to, how to describe the intangibles <laughs> yeah. Yes. yeah well and again it's i guess i just try to describe it to compliment you but it doesn't need to be a, a description yeah. you you listen and you go well, as Kayla, you know, wow, where did that come from? What she made a decision there. She, and it's a, it is just amazing. So, but I do, I don't know. You know, you want to try to put words around it just to to compliment what you're hearing because it's it, it was different. You'll know what I, I mean. You guys probably know what I'm talking about. But listen to it again, and there's just that little bit of a a different decision. I like that, Caleb. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna take another quick break, but before we go. Caleb, I got to ask you, what is the oldest sibling syndrome and why are you thinking about it so much? <laughs> <laughs> is this from the website? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you have siblings? I do. I don't okay. think about them at all. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Josh. We're all Jays, yeah. yeah. Two boys and a girl, too. Nice. Yeah. None of us can sing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, the challenge of the oldest sibling is to um is to not try to be a parent, mm. but still be myself and uh like step into what that means to be myself. And like there are certain things that you know about being an oldest child, like it's kind of drilled into me. It's not really a like it's not my decision to feel like a leader but there are ways to lead that are more effective and more wholesome and and compassionate and uh rather than trying to be like a parent or like a weird like overseer you know what i mean so i, I think that's probably what i meant in that man i get weird when i run <laughs> on the website i get really weird <laughs> weird stuff it's good but somebody needs to have a follow-up question so i took that on myself and i wanted to ask you yeah so your, but all of three of you wrote really great things and don't worry i'm gonna get all of them don't worry good, good, good. <laughs> but you need some follow-up you need a little explanation or maybe you don't all right let's take that quick break because when we come back i'm gonna find out when becca got a little lost this year she's got a great story for us i am sure 
The new single is Get a Little Lost, Girl Named Tom. Go to girlnamedtom.com for tour dates, merchandise. By the way, buy one of everything. Get your Christmas uh, shopping out of the way early. Buy one of everything and support Girl Named Tom. You know where they make everybody makes their most the most money as an artist, as a music artist these days? If you're not in sync, you're making your music on tour and on the merchandise. It's really hard to make the money on the on the album unless you buy a direct there. So go and support. Please support Girl Named Tom. Not that they need it, but I'm I'm telling you you should. Merchandise, uh, really cool. Music, great. Tour dates upcoming. Girlnametom.com. We'll be right back. <laughs> 